power world. Glitchless. Deathless. Speed running. Long ago, the three games played together in harmony. Then, everything changed when Pal World came out. That's enough of this corny shit. Here's how I got the world record in the glitchless deathless speedrun. When Pal World came out, it had 2 million concurrent players, shattering Steam records by becoming the second game in history to reach that threshold. As a Pokemon fanatic and avid gamer myself, this game piqued my interest. With a new game comes limitless opportunity to explore. New content, new ideas, and most importantly, new records to be broken by speedrunning. Speedrunning is something I have always enjoyed watching but never wanted to participate in. After all, who would want to spend hours of their life grinding towards an obscure world record with no rewards besides the sweet satisfaction of knowing you are good at a thing that a select few people care about? This is foreshadowing, by the way. With Pal World, it felt like the right time to start speedrunning in a game that has a clean slate, where I could be part of the innovating and theory crafting. I checked the Pal World categories on speedrun.com and noticed that the glitchless category was looking kind of empty. The restricted category had so many runs and it relies on a duplication glitch which doesn't look super fun to me. I wanted to choose a category that was more true to the essence of the game. Abusing Pals for Power. The first step in doing a speedrun is research. I know, I know, not the most interesting thing to do, so I will just summarize it for you. The entire glitchless run relies on two things. One, capturing an early Kataiva, and two, getting to level 10 as quickly as you can. Kataiva is key because of its signature skill, Punch Flurry, which doesn't make any sense because Kataiva is clearly not punching here. Cats have claws. In Pal World, you get EXP for a variety of actions like crafting things, collecting items, and defeating enemies. But the most important way you gain EXP is through capturing pals. For the first few pals you capture, you get an increasing amount of EXP until you get 10 of the same species. These EXP bonuses are the fastest way to level up in the game. To get to level 10, you have to catch around 25 pals, ideally among three different species. Each pal gives a different amount of base EXP, but the easiest pals are those in the very beginning. Chickpea, Lamble, and our favorite, Kataiva. You have to roll with the punches because the pal's spawns are part of the RNG of the run. There are predefined spawn locations for pals, but each spawn location can spawn a variety of different pals. So here's the plan. You spawn in and head down this path. The goal is to get an early pal sphere and Kataiva spawn. Then you gather resources to craft about 25 pal spheres and go on a capturing spree. In the meantime, at the base, you have a slave, I mean pal, crafting around 100 arrows for you. Once you get to level 10 from capturing the pals, you head straight back to the base to craft a three shot bow and the remaining arrows. Then you're ready for the boss fight. Before I show the run, I want to clarify something. I am second place on the glitchless speedrun leaderboard but I have the world record in the glitchless deathless category. This is because the world record run dies in order to respawn and travel to a location to get a Giga Pal Sphere. This process takes five minutes and it only has a 1% chance of success. Obviously I was not gonna try this run. Now that we have all that out of the way, it's time to show you the run. You have to show the world creation screens so that they know you're not cheating. It's it's all just RNG dependent. So this part, I always do this little crouch thing right here. Boop. And that, I think, saves like a fraction of a second. So in Pal World, you can crouch like I'm about to do right here. And you can maneuver the train much more quickly. Here's a sphere and here's a Kataiva. This could be it. Remember the spawn locations I talked about earlier? Getting a Pal Sphere and a Kataiva in those two locations is really this could lucky. Be it. We got a sphere and a Kataiva. I'm gonna fast forward the parts that aren't of interest. We don't really care about the Coming up, this is the next huge luck of this run. Okay, this could be it too. We have a we have a Gigasphere. Okay. So what I'm doing here is actually pretty standard stuff. You build the workbench, and Kataiva's helping me build it to reduce the time, and then I'm enhancing the work speed, and then you build the pickaxe and axe to gather resources. In the meantime, you want to send out Kataiva to mine stone. Axe. So here I'm gathering the resources to craft the 25 pal spheres. Sixty-two. 
Hero's kind of fumbling a bit with the UI and lost a couple of seconds, but that's okay. It's always part of speedrunning. The other key thing that I'm doing is as I'm leveling up, I'm increasing my work speed so that crafting is much more quick. Here, I'm going to have Kataiva build the POW box right here. Make yourself useful. There we go. So I'm making Kataiva craft the POW box so that I can put another POW to do extra crafting while I'm out catching the other POWs. Perfect. Oh my god, is that a lucky sheep? Okay, and then now we just we make it make as many arrows as it can. 99 arrows, put a Kataiva at the base. And then I gather more wood to get the triple shot bow after I get back to base. Build another workbench here. No, we don't both need to do that. Okay, I'm at level 4 now. We get the spear. I craft the spear. Okay, now we have a Kataiva always making the arrows. This is exactly what we need. Perfect. Perfect. This could not be going any more smoothly if I had asked it to. Alright, now get in the assembly line, chickens. In PAL world, there are critical hits, and one difficult thing is actually placing them. The spear has a crosshair, but it doesn't exactly line up with where you would think. So you need critical hits because it'll be one critical hit to get a 100% catch rate. Otherwise, it takes two individual regular okay. hits. Um, we have another PAL spear here. Oh, another one. This this run couldn't be going any more perfectly. I'm not going to try to go for it, huh? Oh my god, there's another sphere. Okay, I withdrew Kataiva because Kataiva is a pain in the ass, historically. So what I was talking about there is when you have Kataiva out and you attack another pal, Kataiva will try to help you by attacking that pal, but what happens is Kataiva will kill the pal and you can't capture it. Perfect. Oh my god, two more pal spheres? What is this? I messed up on the user input though there. Okay. This is ridiculous, dude. Okay, all we need here is like wood. Here's the next thing you might be wondering about. I attacked the cream puff EV thing before attacking the Kataiva because otherwise it'll run away. Okay, I'm gonna go this way because there's chickens and there's wood this way. Um. Okay, we got a little bit unlucky on this part. Um. That's fine. We've had really good luck. We're at seven minutes and we're already at like level seven. That's just ridiculous in my mind. Okay, uh, go back up here. The key thing that I did differently in this speedrun that other speedrunners don't do is actually unlock this teleport thing at the very top so I can come back here and capture pals that are easier to catch again. Okay, cat's gonna run. That was- I gotta get better at that. As a reminder, what I'm doing is right now I'm at level 7 and I'm trying to hit level 10 so I can unlock the crafting recipe for a triple shot bow. So seven spears, there's another one on the way. Capture you, capture you, here's another spear. One more chicken. Oh, we got all the chickens, perfect. 95%. Okay, we need, um... Here my heart was racing because I just threw a sphere with a 95% capture rate. Still need some lambs, level 8. I have four spheres. We have all the chickens we need. Oh, let's get these all- let's get an all creamy over here. Oh yeah, I forgot there's this sphere right here. There's all creamy here. There are two up there that are running from me. Let's hope they get stuck. Oh, this isn't good. Hey, they're gonna get stuck over here, I hope. There's one right there. Oh, there's two of them. Perfect. I think this will be enough. So this whole time, I just wanted to get to level 10, and I just didn't have the calculations for how many left I needed. Also, this river right here, if you miss this jump, it adds 15 seconds. Oh, we just need one more pal sphere. One more capture. Okay, let's do this to get rid of this. Perfect. No. <gasps> one more pal sphere. Oh, will the cat Kataiva capture? Will the Kataiva capture do it? Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Let's see if it does it. No! We're so close. We're so- who- we need to just kill someone. As you can tell, I was really freaking out here at my miscalculation. I just needed a fraction of EXP, and this venture was only adding more and more time. Man. Kill the cats. 
Oh, come on, just gum shoes. Oh, that was it. That was it. Pick up one item. Okay. Now we go back. Okay, I might be able to... We might be able to enter this at, like, 12. Let's unlock the three-shot bow. Throw out Kataiva. Craft. Oh my god, we have enough to craft the three-shot bow, too. I was surprised here because there have been a lot of runs where I miscalculated and did not have enough wood for the bow. And then, um, now we just make as many arrows as we can. I need 19 more wood. Okay, we have 14 wood, that's fine. Make as many as we can, perfect. Let's get Kataivas in our inventory. The reason I was doing this is because perfect. when you craft, okay. you get EXP, uh, and so at this point, I wanted to get my Kataiva to as high as level as possible. No, we're gonna enter around 13. 13's the goal, we're gonna enter at 13, this is it. This is the run, we got so lucky. Enter at 13. I'm gonna super fast forward this part because it's literally just crafting. Uh, if you wanna watch it, watch the full video. 39, okay, let's go, let's go. We go to the boss. Travel, travel. <gasps> Let's go. This is the run. This is the run. We're going to enter at 13. We're entering at 13. Okay. From now on, there's no more fast forwards. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, comment, and join the Discord. It's an epic place to hang out and meet fellow members of the community. Actually, maybe I, should. I didn't really need to do that. Okay. Kataiva in the party. Uh, you go here. Lose air cannon. Lose air cannon. Okay, cool. Enter, enter. No! Oh, perfect. That missed. Okay, that was that's a lot of damage on Kataiva. Dodge! I dodged! I dodged! I swear! Oh my god, I'm so low in health. Oh, I swear to god if I lose this because of that. Okay, Kataiva needs- is gonna just need to take all the damage now. Sorry, Kataiva. I literally can't take one of these hits. Oh. Oh, this is so bad. The boss fight is so bad. Dodge! Yes! Okay, I had to eat. I had to eat. <laughs> During the run, I had to eat. That's so bad. Come on, keep hitting this. Keep hitting this. Oh, I should have taken out with Kataiva from that, from that combo. Okay, good dodge, good dodge. Perfect. Dodge, yes, my heart is racing so fast. Oh my god, that was so close, that was so close. Come on, Kataiva, keep doing your thing! Keep doing your thing! Yes! Dodge! Okay, my heart's racing so fast. Come on! Keep needing more of these triple hits. Oh no, okay. Dodge. Dodge. Good, good, good. Keep going, Kataiva. Go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go!
We did it! Okay, 16! Let's go! Oh my god. <laughs> that fight... Woo! Let's go! That fight was so bad. So here, I'm just gathering the resources to... Alright, now that we have that... All this is because the world record run... I have the world record in the defeat Zoe glitchless.